Hey everyone, I am Artosis, and I am coming here with to you with uh, a pretty special best of three. Oh my god, it's already being given away, look at that. Six Jacks, DDE against OG Asnata. Yes, this is the match from the NASL. I avoided watching uh, the VODs, and here I am to commentate this best of three. Uh, you know, the NASL, the North American Star League, you can check it out at nasl.tv or justin.tv forward slash NASL season one, all spelt out. Uh, it's an excellent tournament, the North American Star League. I, I absolutely love it. I'm a participant in it. I'm going to be commentating some of the uh, games for it. It's, it's just pretty awesome. So I'm going to be doing DDE against Nada. Uh, I know some of you may have already seen this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. I'm pretty excited about it. TVT, I heard it was an amazing match, so we're just going to have to see. If you'd like to see it commentated by uh, In Control and Gretorp, feel free to go and check it out at NASL.TV. So anyways, the map is Backwater Gulch. We have OGS Nada as the Red Terran in the bottom left. In the top left, we have my teammate, Six Jacks, DDE, uh, a really great player from StarCraft 1. Uh, you know, he wasn't really all that great at that, but he was a good player in that game. Nada, of course, one of the greatest players of all time uh, in StarCraft 1, if not the greatest player of all time. We're gonna go out and start scouting. We notice no gas yet for Nada, whereas DDE going ahead and taking his refinery right away. Now, let's see. DD also scouting right away. So, uh, I'm interested to see what DD does here. Is he going to go, like, Marine, Tech Lab, uh, Reaper? Or is he going to go for Factory Play and or Starport Play? Normally, you don't just see Factory Play. But uh, we're going to have to see. DD, pretty well known for being an aggressive Terran. He likes to get moving and be active around the map and try to kill you. Not a... Uh, he pretty much plays a reactive macro style, you know, that's the way he's always favored because he is just so ridiculously amazing. A god of macro, of micro, of strategy, of everything. His second command center going very, very quickly. Now DDE, what is he going to do? Factory, there we go. So no Reaper for DDE to scout with. Nada going to scout DDE very late and have zero idea of what's going on. He a little bit lucky in that way. Notice he's already gone back into the base. He's scouted the same command center. He did not see two gases yet, which is quite often something that you do see. Wow, that Lyoti <laughs> almost stopping his SUV from getting away. Um, now, this is really good for DD because obviously DD is going to stop the Nada scout. Here we go. Here comes the Nada scout. And there we go. He's going to take it out. Nada has no idea. You could have a command center here. You could have a command center up here. He could be teching like he is. He could be going two barracks. Nada doesn't know, so Nada is doing a pretty safe catch-all counter to these, and that is just adding some more barracks. Uh, we'll probably see him gas relatively soon here. Probably make a bunker down here as well, or at the top of his ramp if he just wants to SCV up for a bit while he figures out exactly what's going on. So it looks like DDE going to go Reactor to Hellion. Interesting, and I believe he's going to make a command center with this. Uh, I guess first as Supply Depot, though. This is actually, I'm i am really surprised by this. I mean, yeah, he's a, an aggressive player, but Reactor Hellion, that is that is pretty darn aggressive. So he's going to want to push up this ramp or push into here before any bunkers are up. Uh, the two Marines coming down. Will he be able to catch this SCV? He does not want the SCV to see what's going on. And the SCV is going to have to walk the long way around, so he will not catch these two Hellions, will not catch this Marine coming down. Did see two Marines coming, though, and as these Marines come down, that's actually going to be very good for DD. He sees the Marines... Backs up. Nada might think that... Oh my god, they're in a line. They're in a line. And DD going after them. His Hellion's doing a lot of damage. But Nada, nice spread on his Marines. And yes, look at that. Not letting any splash damage be dealt. Oh, very nice. And DDE ends up losing one of the Hellions. Still has one Hellion left, though. Two more Hellions on the way. So he has three Hellions at the moment. Nada might be in a little bit of trouble. But going back up the ramp. Not making a Marauder yet, which is kind of surprising. And DD leading with the Hurt Hellion, unfortunately. Losing two of them right away, not doing too, too much damage. And now just going to harass here at the bottom. Nada getting his stim, getting a lot of Marines, finally starting a Marauder. A Marauder obviously going to be very helpful against a Hellion. Hellion basically can't kill a Marauder, doesn't get any sort of uh, bonus damage against it or anything. So, uh, good choices by Nada here. Uh, Could have been a lot, lot worse for him. Some very nice early aggression from the 
Right now we do have supply wise 45 against 40 supply. And I like that DD's kind of sent the ball on the ramp for now, and until he sees that Marauder, that's a good choice. Because Marines coming down, he they come into a bottleneck and he can go ahead and attack them with the Hellions. So a uh, nice little move there. And he might in fact decide to harass a little bit more anyways. He's still making a lot. Look at that beautiful lines up the splash damage. And now deciding to run past this Marauder because, as I said, he just cannot kill it. And now that might have been overdoing it. But look at that. Just lining up the Marines for the splash damage of the Hellions. But now as he gets to the SCV line, this is what always happens. Uh, just too much damage on those that get surrounded. And he loses them. Uh, another Hellion is coming down. He's still making Hellions, in fact, as well. I really like this TV style. Very, very fun. And taking out another SCV. And will he get that Marine as well? No, he will not. And now I think it's at the point of diminishing returns. Might not be smart for him to do any more. But here come two more Hellions. And it looks like he has them shift clicked in and out. I don't know. Oh, there we go. He's going to run up and get up that ramp. But oh my god, the Marauder gets one more shell off. Does not get the hurt one though. And will he kill this little line of SCVs? If he kills those two, that's good. Nice! Kills two more. But again, he just paid... Uh, 200 minerals to kill 100 minerals worth of SCVs. Kind of worth it, kind of not. So let's take a look at what DDE has been doing in the meantime. He's been getting a Banshee. No cloak yet. I do love the Banshee, though. I think that's really, really smart. Because that means he can go over and kill all the damaged SCVs. There's not a whole lot, but look at this. Some of these are only going to take one shot to kill. And uh, that's a smart thing to do. Follow up Hellion Harassment with Banshee. We see that all the time. This is just a different form of that. Now we do see some additional barracks going up for DDE. He is getting his stim. In the meantime, Nada is almost done plus one attack. He's already got his stim. He's getting uh, the combat shields. Concussive shells, not quite yet. Not all that needed quite yet. And uh, DDE realizing, uh-oh, you know, there's... I've, I've really spent a lot of money attacking Nada's forces. Obviously going to be pretty strong because I've sacrificed mine to hurt him. And look at that beautiful turret. That's like a cast turret right there. Nice placement, and will his will he see this and actually take out that SCE so he has a good retreat path? And yes, he does. Very smart. Now his Banshee's going to be able to get out there a lot easier. Oh, a little bit slow by DDE. Uh, but look at this. Now he is going to start targeting down some important SCVs here. Nice moves. Killing out some of these SCVs that have been damaged. Killing some other ones as well. The missile turret SCV being taken out right away. And floats back. Got seven kills on that Banshee, eight kills on that Banshee. Should have pulled back a little bit more. A little bit sloppy there. But a nice harassment by DDE. Now let's take a look again what he's doing. Getting medevac, getting Sea Shank, getting a lot of Marines. Uh, is he going to be making Marauders? Probably really not. He does have a couple out, but mostly you want to transition into just Marine Sea Shank, especially against someone who is very heavy on Marine Marauder, but it looks like Nada with his second factory wants to transition himself, just kind of a safety net going three barracks Marine Marauder into this, and it looks like Nada may be hitting some sort of attack timing here. He does have combat shields, and these bunkers are not filled, or this bunker rather is not filled up, and Nada thinks twice, sides back up, Good choice after scanning, seeing, oh, siege tanks, Hellions, Marines, Marauders. I don't want to hit into that. That would be bad. All right, so we have five barracks, or not a two facts, a starport. Let's take a look at the unit counting station. We do have 52 SCVs for DDE, 43 for Nada, so he's actually done a great job with his aggression uh, and a great job producing SCVs in the meantime, you know, teching up and then getting a good amount of SCVs. Uh, Army-wise, we see same amount of Marauders, uh, more Siege Tanks for DDE, and same amount of Marines. So he's actually ahead of Nada at this point, which is pretty darn exciting. He is taking his third base. Already killed these rocks for quick movement, fluid defending of that base. And now Nada, from behind a little bit, he's going to figure out what to do. He does have slightly better upgrades. He has plus one already done. Plus one armor is on the way. DDE's uh, plus one attack will finish around the same time as the plus one armor. His armor a little bit further on, but he does have two eBays, so he's really on top of that. And he's got to be careful, though, because Nada actually, if the, he's not siege job, Nada might be able to bust him here. He has a lot of medevacs and a decent amount of units. DDE smartly sieges up. And we may see Nada go around this way and try to do some damage, but DDE sitting there with a missile turret. And sometimes it takes a minute for missile turrets to shoot, for anything to shoot at weird angles in this game. Kind of funny. Uh, and we do see DDE with a nice siege shank placement. 
but very annoying here on the high ground. He may have to bring some units down and harass us just a little bit. A uh, couple, his engineering base there, so he does not want to lose those. Will he stim and run up? He might. Nada has a chance here to perhaps pull ahead, but no. Decides to bring over Sea Chinks. Doesn't want to overcommit. And in the meantime, DDE just running right in. Nada might be in a lot of trouble. You get on top of a Terran's uh, production facilities. Bad things happen. Look at this. At the same time, Nada running up here into DDE's siege tanks. And that didn't work out. Uh, is running back and doing some harassment over here with his siege tanks as well. But DDE doing a lot more damage. There is a siege tank here. And if he gets a good follow up, oh my god, a lot of damage being dealt there. But DDE taking out a lot of the production facilities at the moment. Well, Nada right now. He is uh, making DDE float away, but look at the supply, 126 for DDE, 96 for Nada, DDE doing tons and tons of damage, uh, realistically if DDE had run over to the siege tank area a little bit more, like maybe target down this barracks right away and then stand in this area and just snipe them out as they came out, I think this game might be over already, but uh, I don't know man, this is a pretty crazy play by DDE so far anyways, and looks like he's going to keep harassing multiple areas here, running these marines behind, killing off some more SCVs. While well, he drops off in the natural, not in the meantime, kind of stuck over here. But DD does have this additional base, so he's gaining a very nice lead at the moment. These two siege tanks, the saving grace of Nada. Uh, he's going to have to start moving forward pretty soon, though. As DD has cleared out the natural expansion, notice Nada is moving forward. He knows way before I say that. Uh, he does have this expansion, but no SCVs over there. Let's see here. It looks like DDE has decided it is time to break out. Ooh, doesn't quite move his sea chanks forward enough, I believe. But a nice marine spread should be able to break through anyways. Only one of his sea chanks really helping during all of that. Uh, well, oh my god. And out of nowhere, I look over here and DDE is killing more sea chanks. Pretty awesome. But they are all so badly hurt, they will be going down. Ooh, picks him up in a medevac. Very nice move. Nada with only one SC over here. Let's take a look. First of all, Nada is 60 supply, 122 for DDE, 35 SCVs to 57, DDE in the lead. His medevacs flying in completely empty. <laughs> Nada realizes, oh, those are empty. And uh, looks like he's going to be able to kill this sea chank on the cliff. We may be seeing GG pretty quickly here. DDE playing some amazing TBT action here. He has got 1-1. One, one. Nada as well. Let's see any more upgrades going. Plus 2 uh, attack for DDE. Bosses of their engineering bay. And GG, that is it. DDE, in quite an upset, takes out Nada in game one. Uh, stay tuned for game number two.